Wow, morning. It snowed, uh, as you can see. Um, so it's time for me to grab the camera and see if I can go out and get some wintry shots for the calendar next year and also for some Christmas cards. Uh, but as you can see, it's um, quite beautiful. Um, so I'm going to have a wander, wander along the canal and out towards the flint mill and see what we can get. Speak to you later. Right, winter photography. Uh, the first thing to remember is that your camera meter will get fooled by all the bright white snow. Camera meters are designed to do an 18% grey as an average value of the whole picture. And when most of the picture is white, that fools it. So you will find that your snow, lovely snowy pictures could turn out a grey colour, which is fairly easy to sort in post-production. Uh, the other thing to remember is it's cold. I don't know if this is going to be a feature of all these videos, but I seem to find myself freezing all the time when doing them. And it's slippy underfoot and I'm out on my own. I'm presuming that today there'll be a lot of people around where I am. So if I did slip and hurt myself, help wouldn't be too far away. But it's handy to have a mobile phone and quite a lot of warm clothing, which I've got. And also someone knows where I'm going, so I would be missed for once. But this is lovely. Hardly a sound. And the snow fell quite late last night, so it's still clinging to all the trees and everything. Don't know how long it'll last for. I don't know if the, uh, the microphone on this can pick it up. But there are children screaming in the background because they're sledging on the hill. But that's beautiful. Try and pan a little slower. There we go, back where we came from. Oh, that is just as pretty as a picture. I might grab my camera and take a couple of shots of that once I put my phone down. Well this is a spot I've photographed many many times in the snow and without the snow. Absolutely beautiful. You'll have to excuse the screams in the background. There are some children sledging. It's not anybody being murdered. I just see them up on the hill there. Just the thing to do on a snowy day. Oh, you've seen the colour balance change on that. Video is a very strange medium. There we go. Isn't that just gorgeous? I'm very cold, obviously. And there goes the colour again. Right. And I will wander on. Well, this is magical. Down on the railway tracks. 
interesting really and a little bit sad that for well, 30, 30, 40 years maybe I'm sure someone will correct me these tracks have been a haven for wildlife and walkers even today you can see the number of tracks down here and it's still really early in the morning uh, and now the railway have decided they've got an interest in it again and are blocking off access to people and uh, I think it's really sad the number of people that are going to travel on the trains is probably minuscule compared to the number of, of, of locals that will walk on this land and enjoy it uh, a case of the uh, few overriding the many which is really unfortunate but that's just a personal opinion that's a beautiful spot down here I think the first time I photographed down here in the snow was about 24 years ago and I was I was training with a company and the trainer lived out in the hills and it snowed and very unusually for a workplace we had a snow day and the first thing I did was grab my camera and head out to photograph the snow and this was the easiest place to get to and as you can see a little bit of snow makes everywhere look absolutely wonderful this is normally the darkest part of the walk and can be quite dreary and dull even in summer but look at it now isn't that gorgeous Well, the light levels are starting to come up a bit, so it's getting a bit brighter. Wonderful thing about snow is it's very bright anyway, so I've never really felt the need to uh, take a tripod out with me. It's hard enough standing up with just two legs to control, let alone adding another three into the process. In fact, for most of my outdoor work, I don't use a tripod at all. did pass a chap with a tripod earlier on and uh, although I admire his professionalism uh, for me it just slows me down I like to be able to move quickly change position quickly grab shots and move rather than take my time and set up an individual picture I just I just see the images and grab them I think it's a sense of freedom of not having to be laden down with tons of kit and I've only got the one camera and one lens with me just spare batteries and spare cards that's all you need and of course absolutely gorgeous scenery which obviously we've got here well this is one of my favourite spots on the canal I've photographed it quite a few times uh, in summer, spring, winter and autumn and it's done me quite well Christmas cards, greetings cards, calendar pictures. It's an absolutely, be absolutely beautiful spot. I'll uh, try and put some pictures up of, of what I've photographed over the years just that stood at this little spot. And I'm going to have a wander down into the scene and try and add some more to the catalogue. So, what's so great about this spot for photography? Uh, for me, I like all the straight lines running off into the distance. I like the fact that the uh, bushes at the sides and the trees are broken so you get that light dark, light dark effect as you go down. I like the boats, fascinated by boats. Uh, this first boat is actually a friend of mine's boat, so I've been on that one. It's one of, probably my favourite canal boat but don't tell the others. Well, it's a lovely spot. It seems to catch the light just right at the time I'm normally photographing it. Which is normally early morning. Now I've got some people coming. Seem to be more and more people as the day goes on. It is only about oh, half past nine, I think. So, got a reasonably early start. 
didn't realise it was going to snow today, so it wasn't on the cards for me to be out doing this, but there you go. Well, I'm nearly at my destination for the first part of uh, my day. I'm heading out to shoot December's calendar video. If you haven't seen the calendar videos yet, have a look on my YouTube page and or go on my Facebook page, there'll be a link there to the videos. I do a video each year, or each month, of that particular photo on the calendar, where it was taken, how it was done, that sort of thing. And December's is just around the corner. And it snowed, so I need to get a snowy... I fancy doing the talking about the video in the same conditions I'd taken the photo. If that makes sense. It doesn't make much sense to me at the moment, because I'm cold. Um... So it's January the, 20, the 19th and I'm doing a video that won't be released until the 1st of December. Which seems a long way away. And I'm hoping that come December my video skills will have improved. Who knows, I might even have a drone or a gimbal so it won't bounce up and down like this is doing. So December's video may well look a lot poorer than November's. Uh, I will have to put an apology into the video in the hope that my video skills get better over the year. They probably will. But as I'm just about to reach my destination, I'll stop this one. Still gorgeous, look. It's giving out snow for 10 o'clock, but it's not looking too bad up there. So I might just escape with this one. <laughs> 